So you own your own business, but you don't got your wholesale license. Let me help you out. Now, if you're just starting out and you're buying blank t-shirts from the swap meet, from your local t-shirt store, paying top dollar for blank t-shirt, wholesale is the way to go. I'm pretty sure you hear a lot of people talk about wholesale and buying stuff wholesale, not paying tax when you buy stuff wholesale. And it's all true. If you own a t-shirt brand, you could increase your margins by buying your blank t-shirts wholesale. What's the difference between wholesale license and a reseller's permit? Absolutely nothing. They are both the same thing. Reseller's permit, wholesale license. Same thing, different terminology, but it's basically the same thing. How do you get one? You're going to log on to the Board of Equalization, boe.gov, and I think for different states they have different ones, so I think California's boe.ca.gov, maybe. Google it, you'll find it. And you're going to want to register for a reseller's permit. A reseller's permit is basically saying that you're going to buy something wholesale, turn around and sell it on your end and charge tax for it. In plain English, this just means that you're going to buy blank t-shirts and blank hats wholesale, not pay any tax on it, print on it, embroider on it, sell it to your customer, collect tax from them. How do you get it? Log on to your BOE website, the Board of Equalization. You're gonna file for a new reseller's permit. I think it takes like a day or two. On the application, it's gonna ask you, what are you gonna be buying? What are you gonna be selling? Where are you gonna be doing business at? This is where you put in your DBA, your EIN, let them know that you own an online store, whatever it is, wherever you're gonna be selling mainly. So let's say you own a t-shirt brand, and you have an online store, you're gonna be selling majority of your stuff online. You might be doing stuff at events and festivals, but majority of your business is gonna be online. So you would put that on the application. I'm an online retailer. They'll probably ask you, what do you sell? Men's clothes, women's clothes, decorated garments, which is printing your own shirts and your own hats and shit. So you might be putting that. This is free. You don't pay for this. You just fill out the application. Once you get approved, they send you an email and then it'll have your reseller's permit on there. This this reseller's permit is for the county that you live in. I live in Los Angeles County. If I went to Orange County, I would have to obtain a reseller's permit for Orange County. How to buy stuff wholesale with this reseller's permit. Now what you're going to want to do is open accounts with whatever blank t-shirts that you're used to using. All Style, Gildan, Anvil, American Apparel, Next Level, whoever it is. Open accounts with them. Now you can legally purchase stuff straight from the manufacturer, wholesale. This is the best way to increase your margins if you're used to buying three for ten blank t-shirts from the swap and you thought that was a good deal now you're going to where the swap meets get their stuff from with that being said you're conducting business collecting taxes you have to pay your taxes at the end of your fiscal year your fiscal year ends whenever you got your resellers permit so let's say you got it March 31st your fiscal year will be from April 1st to March 31st of the following year you're gonna have to pay back the tax that you collect this is why it's important save your receipts track what you're spending grossing buying how much you're making with that being said you filed for a dba and you registered your business name you have an ein your tax id number you have your reseller's permit your wholesale license so you're pretty much good to go one more thing you need to do and i failed to do this when i was first starting out whatever city you're conducting business in, they want you to register and get a business license from that city. I didn't know that. Well, the first year that I went legit, I didn't know about doing that. I thought I had my DBA and my EIN and my seller's permit and I was good to go. And then the city came down on me and said, hey, we noticed on the BOE website that you're conducting business out of our city and you haven't paid any taxes. Boom, got hit. I don't know if every city's like this, but my city is. They go by calendar year. So if you're gonna do it, I'd say get your business license in January, pay whatever fee it is. Mine's was like 75 bucks, and then it'll be good all the way till December 31st. My advice is do it in January, and then you'll have the whole year to conduct business in your city, and then just keep renewing it every year. What we just covered now is your seller's permit and your business license for the city that you're living in. You are good to go after this. All right, if you guys have any more questions, you could always email me at bigbrando at gmail.com, B-I-G-B-R-A-N-D-O-H at gmail.com. Catch you guys on the next one. Big Brando and I'm out. Yeah.